THE FAMILY SUPPER When the Hainers all got together once a year during the holidays, they came from all points USA. Between the three daughters and two sons, they represented Kentucky, Idaho, Virginia, and Pennsylvania, with a total of 19 men, women, and children. Of course, Ma and Pa Hainer were empty nesters in Minneapolis, but loved having the entire family home for Christmas. The restaurant they chose this year had been a long family favorite during the annual get-togethers. Its specialty was its vast array of pies that they baked in-house, plus they served an all-around mixture of common American food. In recent years, however, the place closest to them had fallen on hard times and service had gone downhill. Still, it was nearby, and they were almost guaranteed immediate service, with plenty of room for the entire family. Amy the waitress seated the family without a wait, handed out menus, and took drink orders. As she walked over to the computer to enter the order, the only other customer in the restaurant called her over and began berating her loudly, something about slow service and cold food. She said nothing during the rant. How could she? He wouldn't let her say a word. He and his wife grabbed their coats and stormed out of the restaurant. Amy looked in the direction of the only customers in the restaurant, the Hainers. She went to the drink dispenser and filled the glasses. When she came back with the drinks, her hands were shaking as she set the drinks in front of each family member. Son-in-law Terry said to her, Amy, don't let it get to you. Shake it off. He was just being a jerk, that guy. No reason to talk to you like that. If he had a beef with the service and the food, he should have taken it up with the manager. You shouldn't have to endure that kind of abuse. Thanks, sir, for your consideration. But I am the manager.'